Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're just gonna be focusing on nail art. So we have my lovely client, Brittany, in the house today. I'm starting off by just cleaning off her nails. I did go ahead and do an acrylic application. She came in with naked nails. So I did a very long set of nails on her. And then we're gonna be going in with our nail art. I'm starting off by testing out one of my chrome pigments for her. So I am adding the Chiara Sky Rub-On Base for their chromes. And then I went ahead and swatched two of the chrome powders and then of course she chose the one she wanted. She wanted one with like a green hue to it which was very hard for me to find surprisingly. So if you guys have any suggestions down below let me know. The one that we ended up going with did have a pretty good green hue to it but then all of a sudden it disappeared so it was kind of weird. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and continue to use that rub on base. I'm adding a thin layer of that on the entire surface of her acrylic nail and then we're going to be placing that in the LED light for about 30 seconds in the Chiara Sky rechargeable light. All you need is 30 seconds and it's going to give you the best grip for your chrome. I'm going to be taking that chrome powder that I was talking about, rubbing it very well in with a makeup applicator. You can use a sponge as well. I feel like that would probably work a little bit better, but this is all I have at the salon. And as you can see, it has like the slightest green hue to it, uh, depending on the way that the light actually hits it. Because I feel like it looks very pearlescent, but then it also has like a slight green hue. So I'm just going to be rubbing that all the way in on top of that clear base that we have. I absolutely love this type of nail. I feel like it brings a set to life if you know you are not into super basic nails. I feel like this is a really cute touch to add to your nail set. So we're going to go ahead and rub that in. Then we're going to be going on top with some fun nail art. Now once I'm going in with my nail art, I am going straight on top of the chrome pigment that I just added. But if you are not comfortable with doing that and you feel like you're going to have to fix something up from your nail art, highly recommend you go in and top coat before you start your nail art application. I definitely felt a little bit more safe on this design because it's something that I've done before. So it's a design that I'm fully comfortable doing and I feel like I am okay with doing it right on top of the chrome. I don't like layering too much product on top of each other. That's why I'm not going in with the top coat and then going in with nail art. But if you do not feel safe and you feel like you're gonna have to do some cleaning up, by all means, add a top coat to that chrome and then go on top and then of course add your second layer of top coat. But I'm just gonna go in directly with my McCart nail art brush. It's my favorite one. They are linked in my Amazon storefront. The link to the direct brushes will be in the description box. They're my go-to. I absolutely love them. It comes in a pack of three and I'm using the white one. But we're just gonna be going in with some beautiful numbers. We're gonna be doing her birth year. It is her birthday set. So we're gonna be doing 1991 for this hand. I am doing the one on the pinky and then working my way to her index finger. And of course, I'm just going to be showing you these two fingers because it gets repetitive. So you guys get the gist of doing a number one and a number nine. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my frosting gel paint in the color black from Profiles Backstage. They are my go-to gel paints. Highly recommend them if you're looking for some. If you like a very opaque pigmented gel paint, this is going to be it. The consistency, in my opinion, is pretty thick, but also very easy to work with, which I prefer. I don't like it to be overly watery. I want it to stay nicely in place when I am working with it. So this is going to be my best choice and highly recommended on my channel. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off those numbers. And as you can see, that's kind of what it looks like finished. And then we're going to be switching over to the other hand. We're going to be using a combo of black, white, and lime green for this set, which I absolutely love. We're going to be doing some swirls on the pinky and the index finger. And again, I'm using the exact same two products and always, always, always remember to cure in the light whenever you feel it is necessary. I, for the most part, do all of the design that is in that specific color first and then I go in and cure.
Now we're going to be doing an eyeball on her ring finger and then some mushrooms on her middle finger. So again, it's just going to be like a pretty basic outline of the design in black. I think it turned out super, super cute once everything came together. The clear nail underneath with that chrome pigment, I feel like made the entire set. It just brought everything to life and I feel like it really made the black design stand out. So definitely recommend this if you guys are looking for a design that stands out. You can absolutely change it to whatever design you want and it'll still look super, super cool. So we're just doing the outline of the eye, adding some beautiful lashes, and then we're gonna be doing some like drippy design on the bottom lash. I am using an inspo photo for this set, so I will leave that linked down below. Uh, she did bring in a photo that she saw, loved, and wanted me to recreate. So we gave it our own twist to it, um, and I absolutely love how it turned out. So again, little drops on that. You just basically add a thick little dot at the bottom, loosen up the pressure of your brush, and bring it into a point to the bottom of the eye. Super, super easy to create. I feel like this type of design is super in and you will always be able to do different designs using that technique. Now we're going in with the mushroom nail. Super simple, super basic type of mushroom. Again, still like the silhouette black design which is super easy to achieve. You don't have to be super perfect with it because if you do mess up, you just go ahead and correct it and then fill it in with the black, which makes it really easy to do. I'm gonna be doing the outline, infilling the top portion, and then doing the stem and the underneath of that mushroom to give it a little bit more of a mushroom vibe. And then we're gonna be switching over to white and adding in tons of details to all of the nails using white to just make it stand out a little bit better. So we're gonna be adding some little stars and to do so I'm just taking a dotting tool. This one is from Profiles Backstage. All dotting tools are pretty much the same. So if you find some off Amazon, definitely recommend just going with that. But I'm gonna go in and do a bunch of dots kind of just randomly, uh, not interfering with the design of course. And then we're taking my brush and just kind of flicking it out in a cross. I will say the entire time that I was doing this design, I was definitely struggling to see what the heck I was doing because the shininess of the chrome and the light hitting it was blinding me. It was so funny because I was drawing it basically without knowing what I was doing and then I would move it out of the light and I was like, okay, I can see. And it definitely turned out better than I expected due to the fact that I couldn't see properly. But I'm gonna go in and now add my white squiggly lines to the pinky and the index finger as well and then of course i'm adding some little stars to the middle finger and ring finger on this hand as well Thank you. 
Now we're going in with our hints of green. If you guys know Brittany from my channel and have noticed a pattern, we always use lime green in her sets, which I absolutely adore. It's funny because sometimes she comes in and doesn't want to do green and I'm like, it's okay. We still love it go ahead and use some green. So we definitely tried incorporating it without messing with the design too much. So we're going in with the neon green gel paint from the frosting collection from Profiles Backstage, added it to the eye. And then to add pops of green on the other nails, I'm taking these neon green crystals also from Profiles Backstage. I'm just using some Young Nails brush on glue to apply those. And I'm kind of just randomly placing them using different sizes as well and then we're gonna be top coating these nails. But I think that that green definitely brought the design together. It is super, super pretty. They're not super shiny crystals, so it doesn't take away from the chrome at all. It just adds that perfect touch of neon green. So definitely love it. And then we're just gonna be adding some more black to that eye. And as usual, if you have any clients that do hair or smoke or do anything that really stains their nails, always recommend the stain resistant top coat from Young Nails. As you can see, I totally had a brain fart right there and completely covered the crystal with top coat. So I just went in with the lint free wipe and a little bit of Young Nails swipe, clean that surface of the crystal. Even though they don't have too much shine to them, I still wanted to leave the crystal alone and not top coat it. So we're just carefully going around each crystal, top coating the entire nail evenly because we do have chrome. You wanna make sure that you really cover that up. Otherwise, it can cause chipping and we definitely don't want missing chrome nails. So we want to make sure that you evenly coat it with a good layer of whatever top coat you use. That basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If we can take a second to comment down below and wish Brittany a very happy birthday. We love her. I'll see you guys next time.